Hey, good morning. Well, home and the talk, all that good stuff. Yes. So today is our travel log series in chemistry. We'll be visiting Germany. So I hope you have your passports with you. Okay. If you're looking for a semester abroad or you know, something to fit into that global initiative, part of your education here at Laterno, um, here's one opportunity for you guys to do that. And chemistry and Germany are kind of synonymous with each other, and we'll hear a lot about that. And so most chemistry majors took a bunch of German at one point in their life. Maybe they forgot it later on. But all this German stuff is really good. Our speaker today is Rick White from Sam Houston University, which is three and a half or so hours away from here. So he's taking a big part of his day to come out and talk to you. Yes, so I hope you appreciate that. He got his bachelor's degree in chemistry in 1971. How many of you guys were even alive in 1971? Well, none of you here. I was. <laughs> he got a master's in um, chemistry in 1973, again from Sam Houston State University here in Texas. And then he got his PhD in organic chemistry at the University of Iowa in Iowa City. And um, there's other people here at Laterno who also have had gotten their degree from the University of Iowa. So that's kind of nice. And then he did a postdoctorate fellow at the University of Arkansas. And since he's been a professor, he's been a professor at Drake University in Des Moines. He, and then he went to um, back to his home alma mater, Sam Houston State University, and he's been there as a professor since 1984. And so that's, what, 30-some years that he's been there at Sam Houston University. So he has lots of experience, and he's done a lot of visiting professorships in Germany, and I suppose that's where his connection is here with respect to trying to get you guys to go over there as well. And hopefully he'll tell you how <coughs> to do that. Yes? Know how to make it happen, right? So that's what you want to know, right? Yes. Yes. Good. All right. So let's um, welcome Dr. White. This page down on this thing here. This page down. Yep. Page down will work for you. You bet. Okay. Thank you for letting me come and talk to you about the study in Germany. That can pay you well and it's good for you and it's good for your experiences. Because on your resume, it looks good that you've been somewhere and done something productive in a, in a different country. Okay, why do you study abroad? You got to do it here. Many do you study abroad? Or in the ACS, the Chemical Society, they think that it helps make people, broad people. Um, they want people to have increasingly good skills in an increasingly global marketplace. And you can't do that at ENF. But you gotta go to other places. Um, and one way to do this is to do the study and abroad in another country, like Germany or someplace else. But it allows you to interact with people of other cultures in other countries. Come here. This also allows you to be productive and working with people in different cultures. I have many cultures in Texas, but there are some. Well, it's Texas. Texas. But all, on your resume, it looks like you've been productive while working in a different environment, different culture. You've been worthy for you to be productive, and you've been somewhere else. And the DAED provides scholarships to help you out in this field. So it'll pay you probably about 800 months to, to go for, for some time. 800 American dollars a month. That's not bad. Well, what's the DAED? DAED is an uh, international union to apply to give scholarships to students going overseas to Germany and from Germany to come to America. And they give scholarships and grants. The blue thing, the key thing is scholarships and grants to go somewhere else for either 
two months or two years. He actually get a whole master's degree in Germany with, with funds from the DAD. And they'll support about 74,000 people annually across the world. That's a lot of people that they support to come to America or to go there and study. So they're big on education and big on, but they can fund all academic fields in a variety of things from two months to two years. There's the DAD. Now, see in New York, there's New York and San Francisco and uh, this might have felt. The major thing is in New York. And then they have things around the world. Um, in Nairobi, uh, Sao Paulo, and uh, a bunch of places in, in Europe. They have centers for academic exchange in those places to go to study in uh, America or their place or Germany. So the Bologna process helped things out some years ago. In that case, they have three uh, levels of degrees, master's, master's, and PhD, like this, you just get PhD. And they also have 900 plus international programs, all in English. It helps, helps your goals, you just go some, somewhere and learn English. Not, not bad. And then they have, uh, have uh, uh, a PhD is pretty much all the same. Master is pretty much all the same. So that makes it better for students to go somewhere else for education. Anybody ever been to other countries besides America? Oh, gosh. Where? Anybody been to Europe? Okay. That's good. Now you know what's about. Now you know what's like that. But uh, they have rankings about programs. You can get the rankings and sign on the what schools are good in what places. If you like the small town, here's the small town schools. Like a big town, is big town schools. I mentioned it's a good, it's a good size school. Well, they talk to people who have gone overseas. And this guy here uh, went to Braunschweig. Braunschweig between Würzburg and Berlin. But it's a good school, though. And they said they wouldn't trade that thing anywhere because it's such a good thing for them professionally and uh, we're just being a person. Also, when I went to the Prairie University in Berlin, that's a big time school. And uh, it has something to offer everybody to learn and live in Germany. How many of you have spent more than two weeks in Europe? So you know it's like seeing places going to uh, places. And then there's Old East Germany, Leipzig, that's a big school in Old East Germany. But, you know, they say these are good experiences. You should go there and learn about the culture, learn about the people, and learn about this. So why German? Well, first off, uh, they have 101 million people speaking German. It's probably the largest language in the EU. No, we think English is, but really German. That's the largest language in the EU. Plus, they have a lot of pages on the Internet. And... Uh, they rank third in, in books being published and have more than 250,000 international people in Germany. So if you go there, you can meet a bunch of people from different cultures. That's one day you can go there is to see other people, see other cultures. And they have high standards in both living and academics. You know, you go there, you don't see any slums. You, just, you don't see slums, but you do in uh, America. But they keep things up. They keep the streets swept real well. Outside of the stores, they morning, they sweep the streets up. It's clean. And it's very good. But that's why you want to go to Germany. Oops. I need to find out where I started. Okay, here's the people going to Germany. You notice there's a bunch of them from China. You know who was almost last? Almost last is America. We beat Greece. Great. 
<laughs> It'd be somebody. And I, my daughter's from Romania. They have we have four times their population, yet they have more than us in, in Germany. In Cameroon, uh, France, in Ukraine, but there's us. So we're almost last, but that means there's a good chance for you to apply. That's a good thing to have them have more people, more countries in Germany than other countries. Anybody been to Bulgaria? It's, it's, they're more than we do. Here's what you guys want to have. They have uh, the third only to uh, China, Japan in terms of research. They have a bunch of their money spent towards research. They have 8% of, the, of their journal articles. Actually, 8% so Germany is or four times bigger than Germany, so about the ratio the same. They're strong in physics, optics, polymer chemistry, a bunch of Marx Planck history, so polymer chemistry, and food engineering. They, they're big in those areas. And they're also big in many. Like Goethe and Schiller. You guys know Schiller. Goethe and Schiller? How many of you, have you heard of Schiller? Or Goethe? Okay, you yeah. have. <coughs> Not much here. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, that's why they have things for us to do. So German higher education has uh, two types. Actually, they had the the first schools, and then they had the Fakhochschule, the um, applied sciences. No, it used to be one in Dallas. The UT Dallas used to be a, 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 a Fakhochschule. They had a big program designed for in industry. So they have about 80 Max Planck research centers. You can go there and just do a search there and account for your degree here. They have Helmholtz research centers. They um, have 18 research centers in Germany. Then uh, Fraunhofer, uh, those are the applied science. <coughs> you can go, you can work in any of those places. You get grants from the DAD, you can go to any place you want to. But, but those, uh, the Fraunhofer's got 66 research centers. Um, Helmholtz has uh, 18, and Marx Planck is over 80. Almost every town's got Marx Planck. Like Stuttgart and uh, Munich. So those are the places we research. Had uh, schools like UT Austin and the A and M. Then there's um, outstanding research things outside of school. So these are getting schools, also other things like the Max Planck. Now that's how you do. It. They have a um, a program you can design. I have to you have to log on and uh, you have to uh, log on and get in in the system. And then they have uh, rankings of the schools. Like which school is a good chemistry school, which is not quite as good, and which one's in a small school, which one's in a big, big town. And then those places can do research. For um, example, there's a CHE ranking. I think that's actually in uh, chemistry. They have these areas like uh, student opinion, uh, research things, uh, research uh, funding. And there's the rankings. Like, for example, um, a Kern, a clone. You notice those are all down. Red down, that means the worst. The green, plain green is, is okay, not good. The gold is the same thing. But, um, was, uh, oh, any constants? You notice all those that are red or red plus or green plus? Those are good schools or, or better schools. That's one of the best schools to get a PhD in chemistry. Um, kind of not that good. Uh, Airfield, I used to know a guy I taught in Airfield. It's not bad itself. He's got one down, one down mark, the um, third party fund. But this is what kinds of things you can get on, on those things and see what you can do in terms of scholarship, publications, research money. And the DAAD scholarships. There's the one at the bottom that's from uh, Tübingen. That's where my son was in school last year. Um, but they're all they're for study abroad or thesis uh, work. Now some bachelor schools have theses, some don't. But the um, is open to students in all fields. 
no restrictions to all fields, and you don't need no germ. You don't need no germ at all, but you have to know that I can bakerize bakery, not real hard, bakerize bakery, and they have really good bakeries there. Uh, they really so you kind of think bakerize sounds like bakery is. And they also, but you have to know that Bonhoeffer is a train station. That has signs say Bonhoeffer this way means train station. So you have, you have to know some things. You have to learn some things as you go through life. And you can get either a monthly stipend or the whole thing at once. You go to the two months thing, you get two months of scholarship, two months of money right there. And then open up, open up a bank account, you have it later. And also pay your health insurance. Some people are hesitant, but, but they'll pay health insurance. No problem there. And also give you some travel reimbursement. Like from Texas over there or from New York or from San Francisco, a different cost. So they'll adjust the cost somewhat. And, uh, but you do have to have, a, well, some are all grantees meeting bond. Bond's a, uh, the old capital of Germany. You know, before the, uh, they went back to Berlin, that's, that's a good time. Bond, and also has the head of the DD right there. So you get health insurance, uh, travel money. I'll also give you train, uh, free train travel for uh, I think a month, uh, four weekend, four weekends of train travel. You can just go, spend a weekend somewhere, just go somewhere, and train will be free. They want you to see the country and learn about the country. So do that. Get on train, go somewhere, and learn about things. You also you can see a youth hostel somewhere. It's kind of cheap, but it's okay. It's not going to be the holiday end, but um, they'll pay you money. They'll give you train travel. They'll have a they'll pay you to go to Bond for summer for a weekend meeting. Everybody gets grants to have to go have us to go to Bond for a summer meeting. And then you have to do some things, but you don't know that as you go along. You know, um, like B I E R sounds like beer, so it is. <laughs> cool. <laughs> No, they don't have light beer in Germany. They don't have light beer. It's okay. Here's uh, undergraduate scholarships in Germany. They fund a study for thesis research, or um, some schools have senior theses. They can fund those, and you can go there, and you can go for independently design things. You can just dream for your own program. And apply if it's funded, if it's fundable, they'll fund it and you get things. No, so in, the, in the, all academic <coughs> fields uh, history, history, chemistry, or bio, or computers. And it'll be four to ten months. Four months to ten months. And then um, the school's out there, uh, those from October to July, they're done with school on July 31st. So you go every year, come back, and have two weeks, and come back to school. But and here's the school in, in Munich. The big thing is those slides. Well, how to get down from the third floor down to the bottom floor? Slides. It's kind of slick, huh? I wonder how people are afraid to do that. But um, they'll give you six hundred and fifty dollars a month, uh, plus some travel stipend. And your deadline is going to be about thirty first of January. But they'll have those out, things out every year about when they form a review. And then, um, but that's being in, in the town you want to go to. That's, it's your choice of what town or what school to go to. Just apply, and apply the grant is made to you, not to the school. It's your grant. And then you can apply it and go somewhere else. You have to explain why you want to go there. And the Rise program is the best one. RISE programs is research internships in science and engineering. Gosh, now you, you have to do is you you look at school and find out this is a good prop. I does this. I like this. And you write to the guy and say I want to I want to come there. Can you write me an invitation? And they'll do it. They'll they're glad to have an invitation out because it gives them free help. And then um, you work with students in the lab, but you work with a guy and you work with postdocs in the lab. And then uh, they'll help you find housing. They may even provide you free housing. I sent uh, my doctor daughter there, and they found free housing for her. This is a good thing to have, and then uh, change there. And 
have housing housing and scholarship assistance be toileting? Those words it sound like ours. Toilet toileting. <coughs> now toilets though have they have F and H. Head and no everything stands for. F is for frowning. H for hair. So you you know, you know walking the wrong bathroom. <coughs> Well, that's one of the things you learn as you go through life. But, but those are things you can do. Uh, you can pop those things are either two or three months in the summertime. You go there and spend June and July <coughs> and come home and in July and then you have August to recover. Of course, you, if you're there for two months, you'll wake up at three in the morning every morning for a while. Because that's what, at three in the morning, it's nine o'clock there. So, You'll get, you have to take time to be adjusted. You have to learn to live in America again. And of course, if you do that one time, you can go back again as you rise, uh, in, internship. Go through the rise program, and you can go through again and have an uh, internship and get money, a scholarship plus money. So, um, The right professionals are going back again at that and have a six to twelve week thing. It's for undergraduates or D A D alumni only. And if you can if you're in a, in a good area in science area, you do only English. That's it. In history you have to do German. But if you gotta go be a scientist, you can do everything in English. That's the good thing about science things in, in English. They get 250 bucks a month. Um, for grad students, about 500 a month, 500 euros a month. And that's other things from the host company. So it's a split thing. The DD plus the host company help both divide funds for you guys. You can actually come back and have a good summer in terms of funds. Let me get these things. So, some things you can do with no German, but um, the science is especially in no German, because we all speak English. It's okay, even if you just uh, write to prof and see one come there, he can do English. Maybe some schools, they're all grad classes are in English, because they want to try to get a bunch of students. <coughs> they have an internship and study program. It was also available for students in other areas. You can you have a flock coach, a, a, a private thing. You go, go there for a year and then go to work. Or I've seen you just do an independent study in Germany, on your area. If you want to do um, like environmental stuff, you find a good school that and then you can design your own program or have to fund it or not fund it. <coughs> So they have an uh, intern exchange. This is probably enough, you guys. Uh, study work program, they can do that. Also, that's the German parliament. The middle one is one that you can do. Um, you have a special coursework plus uh, supervised stuff. And this is science, uh, it's all English. And here's Greg. How many of you guys are seniors or close to it? So you may want to. Yeah, take a chance this. You may want to go to uh, grad school in Germany. It'll, your parents will like it, but it'll be okay. Well, there's a lot of kids go away. Actually, my son spent two years in Germany. He's in school. You can also take intensive language courses in Germany. Uh, the, those are the uh, good instances. And then they'll apply to all different areas, different levels. But you can't do it if you're a language major. It's just non-language majors. And then uh, they'll give you scholarships to live and scholarships to pay for the, for the school. You can, you can come okay. You can go there and, and learn about German culture, German language, and know about the culture, know about the foods and stuff there, and about people. But those are good uh, uh, dorm rooms are, are, go, are good there. So that's if you want to go to school there to learn language. 
Now you can, you can get up to one or two years of support. That's almost a full master's degree. These guys can just fund you at a good rate, two years. Now, including Ziegen, this was all done in English. I think in Grisberg is also English. Because you have so many people that can speak English that it's easy for them to just do one English. And you can apply in your last year here. You can apply to, to the school and work for so and so apply to the school and it'll be your first thing. And they can fund you guys, they'll fund you guys and then you get you apply to your school you want to go to. But the grant is on you. So the grant is to you to go to a school you want to go to. Search grants. You yeah, actually have uh, one 10 months, and you also expand this. Ex uh, extension, those are for PhDs, guys, um, or postdocs. They're about $1,000 a month, plus travel, plus insurance. Uh, you guys are all in your parents' insurance. It's, it's no problem. They'll supply insurance for you, so no problem. Your parents will love that. Right, professional again. Uh, as for also, you have scholarships you have to do anything. For example, um, you have fine arts, design, film, choreography. You can just go there and do your project and go somewhere and study and learn about things. But it's your, your grant and your school and your area. You know somebody who's really good in dance, you go work with this guy. And he'll, he'll have somebody help, to help him as a free student. See, why not? And that will be from October to July. Get back here to Haas Park part of summer. And one time we had a visiting student in, in July. I said, is it always this hot here? No, next month is hotter. No problem. But those guys can get $750 a month uh, plus insurance plus travel reimbursement. It's, now, if you're paying for it, it'll be 1000 and then it'll give you 600 but the other stuff makes up for it. So you get the, but those deadlines are all on the on the grant things. Now, you guys, um, they have um, centers of excellence. You know, some schools, some some towns have a center, center of excellence in their school. For example, in uh, Free Shiller University of Vienna, you can carry out research at either the school or Two Max Planck Institutes, and all those guys will be on your on your committee because all those guys are all associated faculty members. So you have a ton of faculty members in all different schools. And in uh, Giessen, uh, they have Center of Excellence. You can go there and have special funds for Eastern European things, biosystems, land and, and nutrition. Also for. Uh, and from the fundamentals of science, and also for um, old land use nutrition. Those are places somebody have, I have interest in. That's one school that has a center of excellence. And you can get funds, and they have special things, special research uh, things for those guys. You get money for those guys. It's a good school to go to. Plus, you get a good education. And uh, Anybody have an interest in uh, bio type stuff? Nobody dying. Well, <laughs> the thing is, uh, at, at Bonn, they have, uh, they have a thing for neurosciences. You, they, they have schools that are matched, that are put together on this program, that their faculty members are all part of your faculty members. And they have uh, the Center for Neurogenerative Diseases, but those are a high rate program, high rank program. You can go there. Of course, it's, it's all English. And you have a good world class thing, world class education, plus they'll get you out in four years. Now, some schools here take five or six years to get done. They'll get you out in four years. I think and yeah, some schools this get you out three years. And some school some policy you have to have three publications. 
Get <laughs> down, they'll get the publications. Now, this is my favorite school because I was there two summers in Gersberg. They'll, they'll give you money. They give you fourteen hundred a month just to be a, a grad student. Fourteen hundred a month, plus um, you get five thousand a year just for, for search purposes. Just buying chemicals and stuff. And you get five thousand a year. I don't get that much. They have they have five thousand a year per student, and uh, but you have to speak English well. Not just Texan and English. Not some people that really do it in English and Texan. Is that yeah, correct? Is there some differences between English and Texan? <laughs> well, they have to have good English skills. And they'll fund you and they'll give you your research money and they'll give you a place to live. Now, the dorm is not just right there by the school, they have dorms around the, around the town. And that's a good, you get 1400 a month for, for living there, plus you get uh, 5000 for for research, and that's a neat town. It's, they have Mozart Fest every summer there. In the residence where the bishops live for a while, they have Mozart Fest every summer. That's about a three hour concert. That's a neat concert. But that's a town that's on the, it's in the, um, is in Bavaria, by Bavaria. Now, my, my son thinks Bavaria is a lot like Texas. All oh, they're independently, independent minded. And, um, they like their own people. They feel like they have their own state in, in uh, Bavaria. Right, some people think Texas is their own state here. But that's, that's the thing that's available through the school that you apply for. and. The D do help you get those things, and also the school. If you get sick, you get into the school, they give you those. That's just the good part about going to grad school in Germany. More rise things, but that's free. Then they want oh faculty program grants. Are we done? They have a short term lectureship program for. Uh, for us, for you guys to host German Cross for all across <coughs> one to uh, six months, but you have to have you have to invite the guy. Plus, you have to have invite invite a person, um, and then have a course set for, him, for that person to teach. A uh, course, and here's the set goals, and here's your teachers, and here's your teaching job, and here's your office. It'll, you have they apply it as soon as you give the guys will give him an office and other things. If you give them, if you want to come here and give an office, that's fine. And then you spend, they can, they can make the guy feel at home in, in America. But they have to share those, share support, and now the DAD will give us part also. So it's a twofold thing. The attorney's got to give them some money also. Um, DAD gives money and help them find housing. It's real hard to go, just go somewhere and get housing. You think it would be pretty easy to find housing. It's not, especially if you're from a different country. But uh, those are things available to, for schools in America to bring Germans over to teach here. Because it's good for the school, and it gets good for their people. Also, gosh, you can have people going to Germany to teach. They have to have all areas they can have, to have their own course and their own set to go. And then they'll provide you with an office and computers, and then they'll supply things for you, to, you guys to have a good program. But you'll be prefer, you'll be paid by the Germans, and they uh, pay you a scale. They'll give you uh, allowances for luggage, travel, insurance. You can bring your family there, you can get them back over there also. But they'll one semester over to two years. Probably harder get people to come over here for Germany for two years because they miss home. Research visits. In fact, they can get research visits. Spend uh, a month, spend three months of time in Germany. And you'll probably get a publication. That's the short-term publication route. 
think of Tom. I spent the summer in Germany. I'd gotten a publication. So the guy I worked with had a thousand publications. Wasn't a big deal. He published his breakfast menu. It seemed like that he could publish anything. But for schools like this, it's always a good thing to do. Right. Most schools, it's a good thing to have a publication. But you, they can have people from from America come to Germany and teach a class and do research and learn about life in Germany. Be about 1800 to 2000 a month. Jeez, not bad. I had group study visits. They can get uh, support for students to go over there for a month. Uh, so, you know, students over there look at grad schools in a certain area, you can get a bunch and go there and they'll pay. They won't buy, won't pay a whole thing, but they'll give students enough to fund their, fund their meals. Or, Fun activities, but still, that'd be a last one for the same use to me. I said to Wilhelm Bunsen, of Bunsen Burner. That's, that's in Heidelberg. That's where Bunsen was. And that's his statue there by Heidelberg. So, a bunch of students from the same use to me. On a story about program. But there'll be seven to uh, 12 days, they'll help pay for your meals there. So much per day, so that's probably much, much free meals. So you just go there and just eat there for free. But you have to tell them about why this is good for you, why it applies to their country. If you want to do environmental stuff, they have a group of people tell you about environmental schools. Anybody have an interest in environmental stuff here? Well, but anything, food science, anybody have any food science people here? But in your in your area, they'll find they'll give you you know typically they'll find a person to show you around. They'll they'll pay him. They'll pay the students so much per day to go there and learn about German schools and German customs. They have four dead, three deadlines. I was bugging for the faculty to have one in, in Cornell and uh, the Germany today. There was a good program to talk about about things of today that are good during education. But uh, thing is here's how you apply. You got you gotta apply and state why a German um, why is critical of your your career. If you want to get funds you gotta explain to them why. You can't say it's got good beer. Because you know they, they know that already. <laughs> Well, you know, the world comes there because they're good. But uh, here's some an area that does top notch work in environmental stuff. You say, I want to do this because I want to do environmental stuff, and this is a good place for that. And you have to talk about why you, why you go there and how does this improve your, your career goals. I'll go here because they have a good program, and so and so, and that's important for my career to have these guys on my, on my community. And you want to make, make sure you have a good rec recommendation. Um, you don't want to ask guys who miss class a lot. Like your recommendation. And then, last thing is, as the Germans are wanting to make sure your application is on time and complete. You don't know the Germans, they are on time. And you want things done completely. You want to make sure every dot and jiggle is set. You know, a lot of fun. I'll find out that when it says chain leaves at 9.30, that means 9.35, 9.40, 9.30.00. time. So go there and have your application form filled out and filled out completely and correctly and on time. And then in about three months you should, have, you should hear about your application. Three, four months. Some people... Our school has to go other places. Some of our school is that hasn't go places. But don't be. You find that Germans are very polite and helpful if two things. One, which is if you're friendly and polite. And you appreciate their culture and their lives. And you're not there to bring Texas to Germany. Or they have visitors from all over. And they all think their school, their town's neat. But 
you know, if, if you mess up, it's okay. If you do these two things, if you're worked hard, you're a good citizen, and you're a good worker, they like that. And if the errors made, numbers two and three, override them. I think one, one time I was in Zeke and my son and his wife wanted to go, one of them would go to Romania to meet her parents. And when we go to the okay, we can go. So we met there, we went from Bon down to Bucharest, Romania, and up to Yash, where they live. And then I got there to give a little toast. And I raised my glass and I said, Post, Post is your word for cheers. And her dad just looked stunned. Turns out Post is a word in, Ro in Romanian also. Except it means idiot. So, you yeah, mess up sometimes, it's okay. It's a good person. But, um, there was something else, you just point to it. Yeah, it's okay, you just point and say too. It's okay, they know that. And, Actually, the group worked to make the deal. He teaches some German just to make sure you can work okay. They're very good to visitors there. They're very friendly, very helpful. Unlike people sometimes in Paris, they're not quite so friendly to Americans. But uh, anybody been to Paris? Very experienced people are not very really rude, not a bit rude. Sometimes they have been to our group, so, but. You know, the Germans have been incredibly friendly and very helpful. So, there's also these kind of programs you can go to. Um, the thing is, apply, and we may see it soon in Germany. Um, there's a little collage of different places like the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin's right there, and uh, the, the Rhine is right there. You can take a boat right down the Rhine and the Mosul and you'll see all kinds of castles. And there's a beach scene there. And there's, there's a school on the right, top right. There's, there is a variety of things to do. There's a variety of places to go and see things. So apply, and if you don't really see your supply, you get it, fine. No, that's life. But at least apply. If you don't apply, you never get it. So I, I think all, you guys should all, all apply. I think you come from a good school, therefore they should have a good application form, and you should have a good good chance of being funded. Is the experience in so uh, intensely um, they may fund about one out of eight applications, but at least you may be one of eight. If you don't get it, that's fine, you may, may get it next year. But at least try this time. And then if you get one, it looks good on your resume and looks good on your first Well I think we have lots of time. I just like to, to add that my eldest daughter um, spent a semester in Germany, in Berlin. Oh. She enjoyed it so much that a semester back after she was home, she went back again for another semester. And um, she really enjoyed Berlin, the film studies person. Oh. She said you could live in Berlin for $50 a month, you know, and a um, wonderful, wonderful time. So not just for chemists, chemists aren't just for chemists anymore. We do other things as well. So questions for our speaker about how to get your passport, your tickets, and <coughs> things like that. Questions? They'll, they'll help you find housing, so that's no problem. You know, let me know you're coming and what you need, they'll help you find one. Um, for an undergraduate, how would um, like transfer like, like for course credit things like that for transfer course credits from Germany? Yeah, you you probably want to work with the registrars at both schools and make sure things are transferring before you um you do that. Well, Eterno wants to be a, a global school, so I'm sure they'll work with you on getting things transferred. I would be okay if you go to German school, you know, the cancer over here. I, I assume so. Because it's a good school system and it would be a good thing to do. Some other questions over here somewhere. Here we go. Okay. Well, otherwise our speaker will be here for a while and then we'll go over to lunch in the choice room. Uh, the corner cafe, so if you want to join us there, that would be great. And we'll let us thank our speaker one more time.